بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد آسم آئی ایم ورکنگ ایز ڈیو آپس انجینئر گائز ان دس ویڈیو ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو ہاؤ وی کین سیٹ اپ دا کاف کا کلسٹر آن ای کی ایس سو لیٹس بگن تو گائز واٹ آئی ایو ڈن آئی ایو کریٹیڈ اے ریپوزٹری فار یو گائز اینڈ واٹ یو نیڈ ٹو ڈو از ٹو سمپلی کلون دس ریپوزٹری رائٹ اینڈ ادر تھنگ یو نیڈ ٹو سیٹ اپ دا ای کی ایس کلسٹر ایز اے پری ریکوزٹ آف کورس سو واٹ آئی ایو ڈن آئی ایو آلریڈی اسپین اپ مائی ای کی ایس فائیو نوٹ کلسٹر it depends on you how uh, how much uh, nodes you want in your cluster and the size you can decide yourself right so this is the version of eks and you can simply um, set up your uh, eks cluster right so i have done through terraform the code regarding that is already available in this repository right so simply navigate to this uh, repo download it and i'm um, i mean simply clone it so let me open a shell and okay so guys uh let me show you first of all um what i've done i've cloned this particular repository and i want to show you uh from the ui and it is going to be easier for you guys so what we are going to do uh simply navigate to this ek stream z kafka non tls external yaml so um, as a prerequisite we have set up our eks cluster uh, right uh, through terraform uh, we have uh, i mean uh, set up our cluster and the other thing which is must and it is a running uh, cluster operator so what you need to do simply copy this command and paste it so what is, uh, this command does it is going to create one namespace and it is it is going to install all the required crds in that particular namespace kafka right and simply uh, what i'm going to do first of all show you guys kubectl get nodes sorry missed the t here and i'm going to paste this command so we have a uh, five node cluster right and i'm going to paste this command what it does it is going to uh, set up all the crds on that uh, particular uh, namespace and you will see that um, one deployment is going to be set up and one pod is going to be set up and that pod is going to be this one so this pod is going to be the running cluster uh, operator and i'm going to, i'm going to show you that Uh, in a few moments uh, let's complete this part right so guys uh, you are simply doing this part to set up uh, the eks cluster other part let me show you uh, in a moment uh, let it complete right and i want to show you from this um, okay we are in the same ui so uh, this is the yaml file which we are going to deploy so we are going to use the latest uh, v1 beta 2 version right so what uh, we are doing here uh, we are going to add uh, annotations regarding the network load balancer and uh, for this demo it is going to be internet facing definitely in your production it is going to be internal one so what i have done i have created the same stuff for you guys so simply navigate to this section click this and the annotation are going to be these ones right so definitely other thing you need to update according to your uh, cluster requirement and set up for uh, this demo uh, i'm going to show you that uh, we are using two replicas you can set up three to five up to you and this is uh, these are some of the pod affinity and node affinity so uh, this is my cluster name uh, and and these are my worker nodes right or i should say the node group okay uh, these are the settings and let me show you some stuff regarding the uh, replica the uh, kafka version we are going to use is 3.3.1 and uh, we are not going to use tls for the tls i've added another uh, configuration you can watch those but this is the uh, demo which we are creating the kafka cluster uh, with ease of use through slimzy and in our kubernetes cluster right and these are the zoo keeper settings uh, some of the settings regarding the affinity node affinity and replica along with that uh, persistent storage claims uh, resource request is going to be the cpu uh, and memory 
uh, which we need and uh, which are going to be requested by that particular part and the logger uh, log is going to be in for right so guys uh, these are the settings so once everything is up and i'm going to show you kubectl what all in namespace um, namespace path all right so uh you see stream z uh, operator is going to be uh should be running uh in should be in running state before we apply this yaml file so let's see okay it's a typo here so simply check everything uh, with regard to the state or i should say the desired state in your uh, namespace so everything seems to be running now what we are going to do uh, if i do ls here i've already cloned this repo so simply i'm going to do kubectl apply hyphen f right and uh, in my other videos or later videos i'm going to also cover the gk but for this demo as i told you i need to access uh, this cluster from my local machine so that's why i'm using external uh, definitely uh, you are going to use the internal and uh, load balancer type right uh, and it is going to be a uh, network load balancer to send tcp uh, request on port 9094 so we applied it and i'm going to show you the, the command uh, to see um, everything uh, which are going to be start running in your namespace kafka uh, first of all what it does it is going to spin up a zookeeper and then it is going to launch the load balancer once the load balancer uh, endpoint dns endpoints are available or at you can say in other uh, case the ips um, external ips are going to be available then what it does it is going to launch and the kafka brokers right so uh, we have to wait for a while and it will take some time and other commands which are very important to see uh, to make sure that uh, your kafka um, should be in running state simply use this command kubectl get kafka in namespace kafka simply paste this command right and we are going to paste this command uh, currently you see um, there is no running state as we are provisioning our parts so if i do kubectl get uh, parts instead of all and we are going to use the watch command and if i do watch here right so we uh, should be able to see the state regarding our uh, zookeeper is now up and running right and the initialization regarding the kafka brokers are in place so if i navigate to the console i will i want to show you some of the stuff regarding um our persistent volume claims i'm going to show you from the command line and uh, command line as well so if you navigate to the volume section simply i'm going to click this so you see these are the pvs um, persistent volumes PVCs, uh, persistent volume claims. Um, we are going to use these uh, 10 gigs for this demo. I'm using it, right? And your data is going to be persistent here. Along with that, I want to show you to the to the load balance load balancer section. You will see three load balancer are going to be initial uh, in English, uh, in the provision uh, provision uh, provision state, right? provisioning state and uh, what we are going to do uh, if I navigate back to this uh, section and if I do press control C here and um, if I do kubectl get parts and I should check uh, kubectl get all in namespace kafka okay uh, let's wait for a while and once the endpoints are going to be available uh, which are the external ips or the load balancer endpoint you see everything pretty much seems to be in a ready state except one of this dev entity operator and uh, you see uh, 
this is the external bootstrap and it has the endpoint uh, CED20. So CED20, right? So this one, we are going to simply copy this guy and we are going to try to access this. And I'm going to copy this guy and simply try to refresh it. So all the load balancers uh, are active in active state. So if I navigate to the other section, I want to see uh, locally that uh, everything should be uh, up and running. So if I do call hyphen B, uh, I'm going to I'm trying to access from my local uh, machine or I should say the container, and it is up to you. You can use uh, you can uh, use any Linux box. You see. We are able to access uh, this endpoint and what i'm going to uh, do i'm going to create one topic here right so but let's uh, first of all uh, check every pod is up and running the state of our uh, kafka cluster should be in running states so guys uh, this is uh, a very easy fast and highly available horizontally scalable solution you can set up in few minutes uh, by using the kubernetes so let me uh, give this command kubectl get kafka instead of all simply put kafka here and check the state of your uh, kafka uh, it should be uh, okay again typo So our state uh, is in running and you see it is not true. We have some warning, so that's fine. But let me show you uh, some of the debugging stuff which you can test uh, um, and also see regarding the reconciliation. So what you need to do is to simply check the log um, of your Kafka along with that, uh, this um, operator. So Simply copy this guy, kubectl uh, get, sorry, uh, kubectl logs and uh, logs of this pod and in namespace Kafka. So you will see log and uh, everything regarding that in the end, you will see everything is reconciled, right? So you see um, it is successful. And other thing I need to show you uh, regarding you can check um, the Kafka, right? So, guys, uh, what you need to do, let me first okay, let it complete first and give she will get all in namespace Kafka. So, these are the stuff which I am showing you with regard to the debugging. Give she will get uh, I should type give she logs and logs of a pod, and pod is going to be your um part of kafka in namespace kafka so uh, if you want to debug you can uh, check the logs regarding these so right so once we uh, set up the partition it will show everything regarding the partition here so uh, we are going to create a topic so on google simply navigate to this uh, url kafka we are going to download this right copy this guy and I'm going to download on my local machine. Um, let's let it download. And I'm going to download this. And then I'm going to extract this. And we are going to create one topic. Uh, regarding the simplicity of creation of topic, what I've done, I've already added all the commands, right? So uh, I'm going to show you this is very basic, but highly available and scalable. Uh, stuff for you guys to start up your journey um, regarding the setup of Kafka cluster in Kubernetes and uh, this project StimZ is very very mature now and it is used by uh, many companies uh, in production as well so simply navigate to this command uh, Kafka command section and we are going to use uh, we are going to copy this command right so simply paste this right 
so it is downloaded and i'm going to do tar extract um, zebra boss file this file and it is going to be extracted on my machine right and if i cd into this kafka and navigate to this pin section and if i do ls here right i'm going to uh, paste this command right okay paste it and of course it's gonna give error right because uh we need to we need to update the url as well because i just uh, tested the stuff uh, locally and again it's gonna give error and i wanna simply uh, do backward command uh, like uh, need to update the url and local host uh, is going to be replaced by this endpoint and the endpoint is going to be um, this one right and simply copy this guy and paste it here so let's try to create one topic and the topic name is going to be my topic and we are going to use this port 9094 guys you see my topic is created on our cluster which we have uh, just spun up on uh, aws eks uh, right and now what we are going to do okay so uh, paste the other command regarding the uh, regarding the um, producer right and the consumer so this is the producer and consumer so let me show you this what i mean by this so uh, simply i'm going to um, paste this command again and what i'm going to do i'm going to update the url and 9094 and replace this local host with the endpoint of our Kafka cluster so guys that is uh, that is how simple it is uh, setting up of um, kafka cluster on your kubernetes i do recommend to uh, set up with stimc and uh, this is our producer console and i'm going to um, take one another shell into container to so docker exec and tip shell into this container uh, i'm using um, G Cloud because it has Java pre installed, so that's why I'm using this container, right? So, um, we have downloaded this, navigate to the bin section, and we are going to uh, use the consume uh, sorry, uh, yeah, consumer command. We are going to consume, so simply, uh, what we need to do copy this command, and we are going to consume so uh, definitely again i need to uh, consume messages from my topic uh, 9094 is the port and the endpoint is going to be the endpoint uh, provided by the load balancer is the endpoint uh, the dns name of the load balancer right so uh, okay everything seems to be okay so uh, i'm going to show you live demo so type Awesome cloud geeks let's see so let's see see guys we have producer and consumer and everything regarding our cluster is uh seems to be okay and i want to show you the logs of our pod and you will see uh, this pod is running on our on our eks cluster and if you see the logs uh you will see that uh, one topic uh, is going to be created and you see the partition you see this is the topic name and we have set up these these are the partition detail and everything uh, you will see is up and running so guys uh, this is the video regarding the quick setup of kafka cluster on kubernetes eks uh, in my later or next videos i will be setting up the kafka cluster on gk and uh, also, I'm going to show you the setup on client cluster as well. 
तो गर्स देट इज इट इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड है